man visiting from Laos had TB, not COVID-19 as Udantani governor confirms no trace of virus. 31-year-old daughter Ms. Dido, her mother and the owner of the rustic house where the couple from Laos stayed, have been interviewed by local police as an investigation is underway into what looks like an illegal entry into the kingdom some weeks ago by the pair, the mother and father of a woman living in Thailand. A 61-year-old man who died suddenly in Yuntani on Tuesday morning was a visitor from Laos who entered Thailand illegally and may have died from tuberculosis. The man, whose daughter lives in the Nongha district of the province, did not have the COVID-19 infection and his body has already been handed back for swift cremation at a local temple. On Wednesday, it was confirmed that 61-year-old Kampan Fimfadi from Laos who probably entered Thailand illegally some two weeks ago and who died suddenly on Tuesday morning in the Nongha district of Thani province, did not have the COVID-19 virus. Some medical sources suggest that man had TB which is also a particular and deadly health problem in that part of Thailand and Laos. The governor of Thani, Nirat Pongsathithavorn, left, who monitored the emergency carefully, confirmed the news. The governor of Udantani province has revealed that laboratory tests on the body of a man from Laos who entered into Thailand across the Meccan at Nong Khai some weeks ago and died suddenly on Tuesday, has revealed no signs of the COVID-19 virus. On Tuesday morning, after returning from a temple having visited with her mother, the deceased man's wife, 30-year-old Ms. Dido, his daughter who has lived in Udantani for the last 10 years with her husband and two children, found her father, 61-year-old Kampan Fimfadi, dead on a bamboo bed in the front of the house he had been staying in while visiting. 61-year-old man found dead after coughing up blood The man was found to have coughed up blood which was found near the body. There are unconfirmed reports from health experts in the area that he may have been suffering from a form of tuberculosis which is also a prevalent health threat on both sides of the Meccan River. Incident occurred in the Nongha district of Udantani, the couple from Laos lived there for two weeks. The incident happened in the district of Nonghan in the western central area of the province. The visitor from Laos and his wife had arrived there approximately two weeks ago. The couple had crossed into Thailand at a natural border crossing across the Meccan River in Nong Khai province. From there, they had rented a vehicle to take them south to Yudantani province where their daughter lived. The house in which the couple was staying was in a rice field owned by a relative of Ms. Dado's Thai husband. Center of National Media Attention On Tuesday On Tuesday, the small village of Ban Nong Lat was the center of media attention as medical personnel in hazmat suits from nearby Nong Han Hospital removed the body and placed it in a sealed white coffin. Police have begun investigating the incident as Udantani Governor Nerit Pong Sathithavon is also kept apprised of developments. Police interviewed man's daughter and wife police in Nong Han, including the local police chief, have met with Ms. Dido her mother and the owner of the house where the couple stayed. It is thought that her parents from Laos entered Thailand illegally. This represents a wake call as to the dangers posed by Thailand's porous borders although security officials with the COVID-19 administration center have long pointed to this risk. The body of the 61-year-old Mr. Kampan has already been handed back to the family and was expected yesterday to be cremated immediately at a local temple. 18 Chinese illegal migrants crossed over the Meccan on 2 August from northwestern Laos. It also emerged, this week, that on 2 August last, 18 Chinese nationals crossed into Thailand illegally across the Meccan River. The illegal aliens crossed into the kingdom just before 6 p.m. on 2 August from the Tun Phung district in northwestern Laos. None had valid travel documents acting on a tip-off. Police from Changxin Police Station intercepted the party and found that none had valid travel documents. The 18 were all charged with entering Thailand illegally and with an offence under the Communicable Disease Act of 2015. Immigration Police Chief assured the public that the Chinese group was intercepted quickly. The Immigration Bureau Police Chief, Lt. Gen. Sompong Chingduan, told the Associated Press News Agency that all had been subjected to temperature checks and were found to be normal. He also assured the public that the party had been caught before there was the possibility of exposure to the public. They were detained at the Changxin police station for legal proceedings. Meanwhile, investigators were checking their mobile data and usage of their mobile phones as they might contain useful information regarding the people who may have contributed to this escape or lead to further investigation, the police boss said. Chinese crossed the border regularly into Thailand there was no indication of where, in China, the group had originated from or what their purpose was. 
Thailand has long been known as a crossing point for those escaping the clutches of the North Korean regime who are not safe in China and follow a route designed to take them to sanctuary in South Korea. However, it could also be that the group is part of another new pattern in recent years which involves criminal gangs entering Thailand to use it as a base for nefarious, online activities. In recent raids on online gambling websites and loan sharking operations using the internet, Thai police have found manned call centers staffed by Chinese nationals employed and directed from China by crime gangs who show no official record of having entered the kingdom.